A long night at the tennis made even longer for fans waiting at the taxi rank. He's charging $125 oh, really? to get to Rock Hill. I looked again. Somebody else jumped in it. I'm paying for it. And the bloke wants 60 bucks to take me to St Kilda. Joke. Dozens of stranded fans forced to negotiate with taxi drivers during the early hours of the morning, as prices on rideshare apps also left people with few options. And the DDs is cancelled because they know the rate's going up and up and up, and they just wait for the best offer. So then they go times three, times four, times five, times six. It is quite cheerful here. Yeah. Rohan Singh has been a taxi driver for almost 15 years. He says the lack of regulation for both rideshare apps and the taxi industry has seen prices soar. What taxi drivers are doing, some of them, they see Uber, if it's charging, let's say, $100 for a small fare, they will say, OK, I'll take you for 90 Now, Victoria's Taxi Association wants new rules to stop taxi drivers from refusing a fare unless it's for safety reasons and ban fixed price negotiations. It is damaging the brand of the state and I would say that the tourism industry should be very concerned. The association says more compliance officers are also needed to enforce any rules. If you want to hit a taxi driver hard, take his money off him. For any Victorian that feels that they have had a rough deal from a taxi driver, uh, they can call the regulator, make the complaint and that will be followed up. The industry regulator says complaints about pricing should be made to taxi companies. Leanne Wong, ABC News, Melbourne.